In this video, we're going to talk about five features that we absolutely need in Valorant. While Valorant is an amazing game, there are still huge features that are missing that would be insane inclusion. So let's talk about these five features, talk about which ones are in development, and talk about which ones should be put in the game as soon as possible. Now, before we get into it, thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. The number one gaming web browser, period. Well, many other browsers will suck up your GPU and RAM and will potentially cause lag, FPS drops, or even all-out crashes, Opera GX allows you to control the amount of CPU and RAM that the browser is going to use. There's also crazy features like the network limiter that allow you to limit the network bandwidth used by the Opera GX browser so that you can get maximum performance in your games and streams. As a huge plus, you're no longer going to be flashbanging yourself every time you open your browser because Opera GX can force dark mode on everything every single page you're browsing, and Opera GX allows you to stay more connected to the game space than ever. With GX Corner, you can get crazy deals to games and even free games. I mean, check out all of these deals right here. An instant connection between Discord and Twitch in a seamless integration. All these features combined make Opera GX the best gaming browser, period. So do yourself a huge solid and go check it out free of charge right now down below. Now, the first thing that we need to talk about in Valorant is about modes. I do think that Valorant does a decent job at adding some fun casual modes here and there, but I think that another competitive option would be really, really cool for the future of the game. Specifically, a 2v2 or a 1v1 mode coupled with a specific map to play this mode on would be absolutely phenomenal. It would be incredibly fun, and it's something similar to like Wingman in CSGO, for instance. The really cool aspect about this is it can let you really grind that 1v1 mechanical skill, but I'm not entirely sure how you would incorporate ability use. Let's say it's a true 1v1. I don't think that you could keep your abilities in their current state because a character that is inherently defensive is going to have a much harder time getting value in a 1v1. And if you got rid of all abilities, that would be fine. I think that would probably be okay. But I do think that potential cool ability outplays would be left on the table. So I do think that maybe you have a 1v1 or several rounds of a 1v1 where you're playing the same character as the enemy and there's certain characters that are enabled and certain characters are not. Like a Neon 1v1 would be really, really cool. But a Killjoy 1v1, probably not so much. Now, speaking of which, we do got to talk about something that needs to be in the game that is already being made, and it's a tournament system. And they've already described what the tournament system would be like. You're going to be able to set up with a team of players and play for certain amounts of prizes like cosmetics and things like that. And this is something that's in development, and it should actually be dropped sometime this episode. So we should be looking forward to it. They have delayed it a couple of times, so the timeline has gotten pushed back. But all in all, the tournament system is definitely something that people are looking forward to. And in my personal opinion, this one might be a controversial take. I think that Immortal Plus tournaments should actually have cash prizes. Like, imagine if you could sign up with a team for the weekend to play a tournament, and you would grind through the ranks and sometimes you would run into like legit crazy real teams and the winners or maybe the top 16 or whatever teams actually place incredibly well not only get cosmetic prizes but get cash prizes as well you see cash prizes is a way to actually completely supercharge the path to pro and it's something that we saw most recently in the fortnite cash cup system where you could place over multiple days in a weekend to potentially win cash prizes and really good up and coming players would actually win these cash prizes and it would be enough for them to justify the continuation of the grind and i really do think that it's very weird right now the transition between a good player like a high immortal or radiant player a tier three team player a tier two team player or you know getting signed to that tier one org the gaps there are so crazy the salary gaps there are so crazy and it feels like Unless you are already established, you get really lucky, the path to pro just doesn't really incentivize you to keep grinding. But if you put a tournament system that is backed by cash prizes and you could build a team and like, let's say on a weekend, you have a team and y'all do incredibly well. And then everyone on the team just makes like a hundred bucks over a weekend and you use a percentage of skin sales or whatever. You make a skin that is for the tournament system or maybe, you know, for the entire month, there's a certain skin that represents that tournament and like half the proceeds go to the tournament payout or whatever. There's a million things that Valorant could do to just supercharge this tournament system and it would be freaking ridiculous and crazy and so cool and 
we would just see a lot of talent flock to Valorant like never before. And I think it's one of the biggest features that I think Valorant should implement somewhere down the line. Now the next thing that we need to talk about is a map editor and I really think that Valorant is lacking in a lot of depth like the training courses are pretty poor being able to you know have a natural 1v1 have a an aim course or have any sort of creativity added to the game it's non-existent but if you added a map editor that people could actually use and edit people could design whatever they want to you could have people also just design really cool maps and there could even be like voting systems community submissions and really well designed maps could even be implemented potentially for future map designs in valorant themselves I think a map editor just adds a lot more to the replayability of the casual side of the game while at the same time amplifying a potential competitive map design from you know the community pool so i would love to see a future map editor added with you know very customizable settings for game modes and things like that so people could make some really fun modes some casual modes and design cool maps while they're at it now the next thing that we need to talk about, the next feature that Valorant really needs is a replay system. I think it's crazy how this game is so esports oriented and esports focused, and we still don't have a replay system. Imagine being able to sit with the stream, or you know, personally being able to sit as a coach and look at an entire team. Where is everyone at? Look at their POV from every single person, record footage from every single person, and just break it down. Not only is that just great from an individual, right? You can review your own gameplay, you can see how did things go right and wrong, or when you pulled off a play, maybe you got completely rolled by a Sova. You could go into his POV, and you can look exactly how he lined that shit up, and you got to go in and learn something right then and there. From the macro team perspective, you get to look and see how the enemy actually rotated. Maybe you had a really tough game in scrims. And you can go see and look, maybe the way that you played that telegraphed too hard where you were going. And you saw players on the enemy team already pre-rotate to the site you were eventually going to hit and you got caught off guard. And that's another piece of insight and information that you would never be able to get without a replay system. There is so much potential from content to education to self-improvement and Valorant just needs a replay system as an esports oriented game. All that stuff is what they should be pushing out and putting at the forefront. And I really, really think that it's one of the most important things that they need to add sometime in 2022. But speaking of the last feature that I think Valorant needs in 2022, and this one is going to be heavily biased because I definitely think it would help me and this channel, but I also think that it would just help Valorant as a whole, and it would help a lot of smaller creators as well and smaller streamers. And I think it's a creator code. Having a code to where people can choose and buy skins on behalf of, you know, whoever they want to, whatever code that they want to support. You know, you find a really small streamer, someone that has maybe 30 or 40 viewers, and you use their code to go and purchase skins so that they get a tiny, tiny percentage of the proceeds. And it's a lot easier for you to justify buying that because you're also helping someone and you're able to support the entire Valorant economy, the creator economy, getting more people to create and things like that. Because personally, I've like bought almost no skins. I think I only have the Prime Vando as my only skin besides the Battle Pass twice. But if I could buy skins and support some of the small streamers that I really like and give them a percentage of the proceeds in addition to, you know, subbing for them and things like that, that would be just, you know, the last excuse that I need to buy all these fucking skins. And I think that it would be a really good idea. Another idea kind of scalped from Fortnite, but uh, even though Fortnite did a lot of things fucking wrong, there were some things that they did really right. And I think that Valorant's base structure, you know, the anti-cheat system, the esports oriented mindset, the giant, giant amount of player base. There's so many things that Valorant does right that just makes it the prime candidate to really pioneer a lot of these systems in place and just make them better than ever. Make Valorant the game to play for everyone. And I know they're already making strides to make the game come to mobile and console, even though most of us don't care about that. But you got to understand that the pure volume of people in Valorant is going to be immense. So I do think that you really want to leverage that size of people to grow the game, grow the community, grow the creator force. And yeah, but these are my five features that I think Valorant would really do better to have in 2022. But I want to hear your opinion. What feature would you add if you could add any feature into Valorant? What's the big thing that you would love to see? And what do you think of my suggestions? Let me know down below. And while you're there, use code GETGOOD at the Game Leap checkout for 50% off your order because 
If you want to climb Diamond, Immortal, Radiance, you got to go check it out right now down below.